Yes, I'm getting married. You forgot the promise that you and I made to each other. Paul, I remember the promise. But there's nothing I can do. I've decided to marry the man my family chose for me. This man is rich, very rich. I mean, you and I, we don't have a future together. He's rich, is that why you want to marry him? I'm not marrying him because he's rich. I'm marrying him because of the future. Just take a look at you. What future do I have with you? If I get married to you now, what will become of my children in the future? Please, I'm sorry, this won't work. You know what? I'm going to give you some money to start up your life. You know this is your sister's house. You can rent a house, invest in something, just do anything with your life, but just allow me to live my life, please. Sandra, I don't need your money. No money will buy your virginity. Do you know what three millionaire can do for you? Huh? You know what? I'll double it. I will give you the sum of six million naira. Just get a life and leave me alone. Sandra, I don't need your money. All right, please fulfill your promise. I'm sorry. The wedding date has been fixed, and there's nothing I can do about it. I can't change my wedding date. I can't. You better accept the money now, or you eventually lose everything. Okay, Sandra, you know what I'm capable of. If you don't cancel that wedding. Make sure I wipe out all your entire family from this world. I think it is a joke. Try it. Paul! Paul! continue with my wedding. I don't know what to do. Then you arrest him. No, mother. I can't arrest Paul. Though Paul is not wealthy, but he has done a lot for me in the past. I just can't arrest him. I can't. What has he done for me? To compare with what your would-be husband has done. First, he bought me a car and he built a house for me. So, who will arrest Paul? Hey, mother, no. I can't arrest him. I'm sorry. I just can't arrest him. I can't. Okay, if you say so. Stop thinking. Remember, next Saturday is your wedding. So, what are your preparations? Mom, I've prepared for everything. Everything is set. It's just Paul that's making me go crazy. I don't know. Leave Paul alone for me to handle. I will handle him. Okay. Thank you. Regards to what I told you the other time. I want you to name your prize. Please, say whatever you want and my fiancé will give it to you. Sandra, I don't need your money. It is your love that I need. Paul, I understand. I know how you feel. But please, there are other girls out there. You can just pick one and get married to, not me. Sandra, I know. It is you that I need. Are you trying to do? You know what? Since you don't want to accept the money I'm offering you, you can do your worst.
Sir, is there something you want to tell me? Yes, sir. So what is it? So I think it's my duty to tell you this, Marshal Trevor. There's this guy your wife normally go out to see, sir. Say so what? A guy? Yes, sir. Are you sure? I'm sure, sir. I can't have such thing, sir. Can you please describe the guy for me? The guy is... The guy is tall. Dark in complexion. The guy has dreadlocks, so... Timothy. Sir? Are you sure? I'm sure, sir. Okay. You can go. He's my friend, I mean, um, the friend I told you about. So I went to inform him about our wedding. Yeah. You went to invite him for our wedding? Yes. You've been there not once, not twice, not thrice. Is there something you are not telling me? I hope this guy is not disturbing you. No, baby. How can you say a thing like that? No. He can't even do such. No, 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 come on. We're just friends and that's it. Not that I didn't believe you, I was like a bit worried. But you, you said earlier you want to go and see your mom, so how is she? Oh yeah, mom is fine and she sends her greetings. And you, did you miss me? One more time. Of course you don't have a choice, is that why you were having your face like that? Stop! <laughs> no, come on, come on. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Have you seen my husband today? No, I have not set my eyes on him since this morning. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very sure. Call me Timothy. Have you seen my husband today? Yes, ma'am. And what did you tell him? Are you stupid? Are you mad? Ma. How dare you? Are you stupid? Now come back here. I said, stand here. Now listen to me. Let this be the first and the last time you ever poke your nose into my affairs in this house or talk about me to my husband. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Now get out. Get out! Stupid. Should I talk about me to my husband? You're finished. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait for us to get home. You sure? Mm -hmm. I want to have you. <laughs> Yeah. Thank God. Yeah, baby. It was so stressful. I mean, I'm fucked up. Oh, excuse me, guys. Oh, no call. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Hello? Congratulations. I know you're surprised to receive my call right now because you blocked the other line. <laughs> you and your husband, you're driving from the church right now. You're going home. I know he would like to have you right now. Hmm. Before he does that, 
give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you. Before it does that, meet me in an Okopte building in Okma Road after T Junction. There's a black wolf. Yes, I'm there. If you feel or you think that is a joke, you and your husband will not live to see tomorrow morning. I promise you. The best picture will be used as RIP tomorrow morning. <laughs> I know, I saw you. You were digging it. You were doing it. <laughs> Thank you for coming, my dear. <laughs> Thank you. I'm there waiting for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Who was that? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, a friend of mine. You need to see the way she was dancing. She was dancing. She was. She. Yeah. <laughs> I was citing her from her father. Look at my friend. It's okay, it's all good. Baby, hmm? my tummy is running me. What happened to your stomach? I don't know. Hey, God, oh, my chief bridesmaid gave me a coke. So it's running my stomach. I want to, you know, ease okay. myself. Okay, don't have this. Hurry up. When you get to me. No, 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 baby. I can't wait. I mean, there's a, there's a, an uncompleted beauty around. So maybe we'll just talk and... Would that be okay by you? Yes, baby. I'll just manage. Yeah. Oh, uh, please, uh, pull, pull over so that my, my wife can use herself, please. Yes, yes. Oh! No, oh! Sorry. Oh! Baby! I wanna I wanna put in my body! Oh! Oh, thank you, thank you. Um okay. my love. Uh, hurry up, hurry up. Yes, let me just go and give myself. I'm coming. I'll join you. What are you waiting for? Undress yourself now. Please do it fast. My husband is in the car. Please just do it yourself. Do it yourself.
tip on your wedding day. Having sex with an unknown man. I did not have sex with him. I almost did. I'm still a virgin as I speak with you. And what difference does it make? Are you saying I'm, I'm blind or what? So I don't know what I saw. Why are you saying this? I'm doing this because of you. I'm doing this because of my family. I'm doing this to save our lives. Wanda, Why are you doing you, this? You keep quiet. Quiet. Don't you move. Don't say anything again. Are you gone? What are you talking about? What life are you saving? Stop shouting at me! <laughs> One more word from you, I will redesign your face. Jesus. Jesus. I, I don't know you, you don't know me again. Oh my God. Get out! Oh my God. <laughs> what happened? Are you asking me? Are you asking me? Are you, are you stupid? Don't kill me! Call me that. Why are you dressed like this? What happened? Madam, I never knew you guys are evil. You guys are wicked! What have we done? And why are you talking like this? Madam, your daughter have the hair for tree. The audacity to sleep with a man in an uncompleted building on our wedding day! Jesus. How did it happen? I'm not here to answer any question. But I'm here to tell you that I'm going to give you 24 hours to return every cobble, every dime, every penny I've spent on this family. As the next time I come, you will not like me. My love, please. My love, please, I'm not going to do this, please. My love, please, come back. My love, please. Sandra has killed me. Sandra has killed me. You've told me that you want your husband to meet you a virgin and the other guy to also meet you a virgin. Well, it's possible. Really? Okay, so tell me, what, what will I do? Well, there's a way out. You see, there's a medication I will give to you 
then you will have to insert it inside your body. Then all your problems will be solved. Then when your husband meets you, the blood will flow. When the other guy meets you within a period of one week, blood will also flow. The both of them will believe that you are still a virgin. Really? Oh my god, okay. How do I get the drugs? I mean, how much is it? How much is it that I'm ready to pay anything? Well, let's keep the money aside. Well, and for the medication, my dear, I will be the one to insert it. What? You mean you're good? How dare you? Uh, wait, 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 wait. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Well, um, anything you want. Oh, please don't tell me that! Are you saying you're gonna sleep with me? Are you alright? Is it because I told you about my condition? What nonsense! Uh, it, it, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, please allow me! It's okay, it's okay. What? It's alright, the ball is in your court. You have my number. I'm not me. interested. I'm not. Uh, doctor. Oh, yeah. How is it? Well, your wife is okay. She's still a virgin. Are you sure? I'm sure. The wife is still a virgin. Okay, Thank you. You're welcome. Shall we? Your bag. I know. because I have enough effort to give this.
Richard. Yes, sir, yes, sir. This is the kind of friends you are today, right? Sandra. It's not your fault. Anyway, I'm sorry for badging on you guys. Can you help and you wanted to sleep with my friend, the doctor? Eh? You claim to have loved me. Why are you deceiving yourself? I'm doing everything I'm doing because of you. Because I'm omnipotent and I need somebody to help me out. Is that not? You know what? I don't have your time. Excuse me. Will you come back here? I'm tired. There's no peace in my marriage. I just feel like ending it. I just feel like killing myself. How dare you? Don't ever say a thing like that to yourself. I don't know. I'm tired. I don't know anymore. I'm just losing it. I'm... But your husband is a rich man. He's wealthy. You should be happy. It is better to get married to a poor man than the rich man I got married to that doesn't even trust me. Doesn't trust me. I don't get it. How do you mean? Do you know that Richard almost conjured me into sleeping with me because of my situation? Oh, oh my God. You mean the doctor? Yes. And my husband caught the both of us in the hotel room. <sighs> this is really a serious issue. <sighs> but I'll advise you to just tell your husband the genesis of this whole issue. And then go sleep with your husband. Forget about Paul. No! No, I can't. You know, Paul, you know what he's capable of doing. You know what he's capable of doing. I can sleep with him, I can sleep with my husband. He has gone through a lot because of me. Paul has gone through a lot. I can't sleep with my husband. I understand exactly how you feel. <sighs> so, how do you intend to go about this? What will you do? Oh my God. This is a serious issue. No. I don't know. I'm blank. You shouldn't be. 
think there must be a way out. I don't know. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 